Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno as we find out how the story unfolds for Dracula Untold as we attend the UK premiere. Well, Vlad seems um, an extremely conflicted character, so for you as an actor to literally get your teeth into must have been an exciting part. Brilliant. I mean, there's not one scene I, I play the same emotion because he just constantly is transforming and holding on to an addiction that he's, you know, he's fighting. It's a, it was a real challenge I, I, and I loved every minute of it. Yeah. For, a, for an actor as well, part of the fun is the research. There must have been a plethora of research for you to go to. How, Huge. Like? I mean, it goes on and on and on. I mean, there's documentary after documentary, some narrated by Christopher Lee, which is even more fun. Yeah. Your character is the, the personification of good and what's pure. Uh, and I just wondered what, what your, the motivations of her are. Well, I've always been a really big fan of gothic literature and gothic romance novels, Frankenstein, Jane Eyre, and of course Bram Stoker's Dracula, so that was a huge inspiration for me. And then of course, you know, you said my, my character is kind of like the moral compass in the film, so I kind of like to try and work in icons, and sometimes I look at, you know, um, art history, um, and I do a lot of different things, um, but especially I listen to music when I'm working because it's always such a way to transport you emotionally. And also transporting you, I would imagine the costumes work in the same way. How do they help you? Yeah, I mean, Nyla Dixon, who designed our costumes, and of course, Daniel Phillips, who did um, my hair and makeup, they really helped me create Morena. They did an incredible job, and it was such a joy to work with them. What a great story to be a part of. Yeah, it's great to be here and finally see the film. And you're working, you were working with Luke Evans. What was that experience like for you? Well, it was great to work with him, and he was he's such an inspiration, you know, to look up to and say, you know, someday I want to be like him. And um, what did you think of the story when you first read the script? Uh, at first, I thought it was an amazing script, you know, and it sort of had that mix of, you know, uh, the love between Marina and Vlad and Ingris and Vlad and Marina and Ingris, you know, it's all sort of a family-oriented film. And, and what did you get yourself from working from the film, the experience? I got a great experience, you know, I learned so many new, I met so many new people and I learned so many trades on the film and it was just amazing. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's a nice night, we got everybody out and everyone's looking very dapper indeed, including yourself. So it's, uh, Thank you very much, one try. So. Oh yes, you're looking. Uh, we always love a good vampire movie, don't we? And this one's no different, I don't think. Exactly, yeah, I mean, th there is a huge sort of enthusiasm globally for all things vampire and all things fangs. And uh, um, this one, I think, gets people excited for a whole other set of reasons. There's like, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, if you're a history buff and you really kind of, you know, know your stuff about the Turks and their failed sweep across Europe, you'd be satisfied. But also, there is that imagination and that myth that people want to see like you know how did this actually happen how would a creature like this this mutation of nature you know step outside and um, I think Dracula Untold gives people those answers. Is, do you find it quite interesting as well with your role as an actor you get to explore so many different kind of times in history and stuff so for you to go back in history and kind of prep for your role was that fascinating? Very much so um, it was kind of like as a kid and whatnot it probably wasn't uh, 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 you know reading like, you know Dracula comic books all the time and whatnot but once I got this opportunity um, I do love like you know like historical kind of analysis and whatnot to get into the boyar culture which is what Dimitri would have been from from Dracula and told that was fascinating the hierarchies that existed in there the uh, the sort of training that they went through that was kind of really like you know really reassuring and helped me sort of get a grasp on, on the world is that what attracted you as well to the role? What was it specifically when you read the script and you thought, oh, this is my part? I thought, like, yeah, it doesn't happen too often when you read one and you go, oh, hang on, now, I'm just, you know, really got to get, a, get get to grips with this one uh, uh, and be part of it. I think for me was, you know, uh, it is such a huge kind of theme, like vampirism, like the, the incredible love story that's in there, the rivalry that he has with his enemy, uh, Mehmed, played by Dominic Cooper. For me, with Dimitri, it was the simple theme of a friendship, and I think that's something everybody can, you know, can really kind of relate to. And it was just, uh, he's just a loyal friend and I thought that's just it's just simple and it's beautiful and it's, it's you know you know elegant thank you now this is a really slow line it is here. I know you're so doing very today. well you're doing very well this evening <laughs> now um, Dracula obviously is has been explored before but for you as a filmmaker exploring the origins of Dracula must be very exciting it was well I mean it's the the origin story is really it's just dealing with a man it's about who was this guy before the myth before um, the you know, the Germans, when they had created the, the, the printing press around the same time as Vlad Tepes was operating, they were, they were writing the original horror stories of the day, the, the sensationalist stories that were inspiring um, or would later inspire the story of Dracula about this guy who was drinking people's blood. And, 
you know, there's this there's an amazing story. It's a brutal story of a you know a terrible, terrible leader to his to his to his people. But depends where you look at it. Everybody had a different opinion. The Romanians had one opinion. Germans, Russians had a different opinion. And it's no different. You know, with films, everybody comes in with a different opinion, different point of view, and ours is the same. And it's a film, obviously, that's going to benefit from the use of visual effects. Is it? hard to get the balance between not using so many effects that's going to kind of overtake the story really. Yeah I mean this, the effects are only there to serve the story and that's I mean they're so expensive nobody's going to write me a check in the studio just to go have a little bit of fun with effects everything has to move with story. You, am I right in saying as well you tried to use practical effects in camera when you could? Yeah absolutely we shot the whole thing on film as well you know it was like one of those rare opportunities, I said to myself, like, if I never get to do another film again, I'd love to at least just do it and shoot it on film. It's, you know, who knows, a couple of years, you may not have that opportunity. So, and there's that, and being able to shoot a lot of it in camera, it was just about trying to keep things grounded and, and, and technically simple where possible. And it was your directorial debut for a feature film, so was it a daunting prospect? Because it's a, it's a big scope of a film to sort of helm, isn't it? It is, it is, but... Um, the bigger responsibility or the bigger pressure I put on myself to make sure that I try and tell a story that was just a little bit outside of the, outside of the box and, and also um, just make sure that I, d that I did something that, you know, hopefully works within the Dracula mythology. This story seems pretty epic. Was it exciting to be a part of? It's been so much fun. It's been two years of my life, so it's always, this is the night where it's actually glamorous. Many of those nights were not glamorous uh, out there, as you saw it. But yeah, I mean, it was such a pleasure. We did it all in Northern Ireland. And Northern Ireland gives you a good dose of weather and climate. We saw four seasons, so we got to film them all. Um, when you see a lot of the effects in the film, Framestore has done the most amazing effects. But when you see all that fog and the rain, and the, a lot of that's actually real. <laughs> Well, I was going to say as well, because um, Frame Store are the people behind Gravity. Amazing. Amazing. We got so lucky. I mean, they were just able to barely talk about Gravity when we first met them. But their vision for what we were doing, and actually all the original art, is really Frame Store's art. I mean, this is original designs that you see. So Frame Store were our partners in every way. And we've got an incredible cast in this as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about, about the casting? Uh, casting was... Excellent. Oh, Sarah, Sarah Gaddon. No. Sarah was lovely to work with. Luke was, we had him from the beginning. I mean, Luke Evans is a, in every way, shape, and form one of the best actors, easiest to work with, gave it his all. We did an amazing screen test between him and Sarah, and that cemented it. And then Dominic Cooper finding him for Mehmed was amazing. And then I mean, who's not a fan of Charles Dance, you know, and, and getting, I'm actually trying to get him to work with me again right now, but just having him come in and do that part, it just, and then a lot of other, all, all British equity, all, you know, other than one American slash Irish, all from here, from, yeah. You're working with, with Gary, who's the first time as a feature director, was that a big risk for you to, to take somebody on board? It was not a risk for me. I feel like maybe, uh, maybe Universal always feels a little bit, but they believed in him. For me, and I think for Universal too, we all believed in his vision so much that it wasn't. But if you look at it from afar, maybe it feels like a risk. Yeah.